everyone, it's Bonnie here, and today I'd like to share with you my newest fabric album. As you can see, it turned out humongous again. <laughs> I had so much fun creating this. I was commissioned to make this for one of my subscribers, so um, she gave me free reign. Um and also all the time in the world to complete it so I can, you know, really um, add a lot of detail and, um, you know, take my time in creating it. So, um, I did some avocado dyeing. I did some tea dyeing here. Um, and I, I used some really gorgeous... Um, Image, images that I printed off the computer. Um, there's lots of bling in here throughout that you'll see. Um, some of the um, laces I got in racks, um, like this here is a gift from somebody. And I also have some handmade stick pins that I'll also go over with you. But, alright, so let me start, um, I, I always have a hard time showing these because they are so large, but let me try. So, this is the image that I used here. She's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the buyer chose the artist, and I can't even remember what the artist's name is, but they're all um, from one artist, all the images. And I puffed them up, each of them. Okay, so this has a couple of layers of, um, here's some lace here. And these pieces were cut from a curtain. And this is um, some trim that I avocado dyed. This is from a curtain, and I kind of um, folded in half and put a running stitch and kind of, you know, ruffled it so it goes all the way around. Um, underneath here, I just have some different appliques. And then this gorgeous wedding dress trim here. Absolutely gorgeous. So sparkly. And then here are um, just some appliques that I put on this lace here. And underneath is some dangle lace. It's, you know, I always put a lot of layers. Here's some lace here, some lace trim. There's some dangle lace under there, as this falls out of my hand because it's so heavy. <laughs> um, and then... <laughs> And then there's more under there. So that's that. And then over here I have a rosette flower with some bling in the center. And just more appliques. Here's a handmade stick pen. And um, this is a, a little flower that I made from some little doilies. And I have some fabric flowers stuck in there. And these are little flowers. Um, this one is a, what I call a Trisha flower because she showed um, a video on how to create these. And I put some beautiful bling in there. And this is just um, a fabric flower I had in my stash. Here's another rosette um, flower. This here is a piece from One Little Dreamer. And then I have some um, pretty lace behind there. And then I have this piece here, which comes from a trim that I had from a curtain. And I just um, put some pearl and rhinestone bling going all the way down it. And then let me show you the side of it. <clears throat> I have this trim from a curtain that I got from the secondhand store and it was already ruffled like this. Wicked pretty, right? And it fit the binder perfectly. And then I have these little pieces here. I'm not really sure where I got them. I can't remember. 
um, and then I put some bling in the center so that the binder looks like that okay and then we'll go to the side here um, okay so I have this beautiful tassel trim here and some of this dangle trim here that I avocado dyed and then under that I have more curtain material very pretty and under that I have some trim and then this here I think actually this is from Hobby Lobby I'm not sure it's very beautiful and then underneath is that gorgeous trim that I cut out of um, the curtain beautiful I really got lucky finding that and then here's more trim I think I'm going to the other side but that's okay I'll show you from this side and then I have this trim here and <laughs> it's just layers upon layers and then here's some some dangle trim so I'm ho I hope you can see this good because it's just really really hard to show you <clears throat> Unless I like picked up the camera, but then it would be all shaky and I don't know which would be worse. So this is the first layout here. Again, it's these images are from the same artist and I really wish I had written it down who they were. But when she told me who she wanted, I just um, immediately, you know, went to Pinterest and found the, the ones that I really, really loved um, and printed them out and then worked around, you know, those images. So let me share with you this side here. <clears throat> All right, so you have this beautiful image and she has... Um, this going around which is from a curtain again this here I received in a rack very beautiful trim it's got like little eyelets in it so I just did a running stitch and you know kind of ruffled it up and then up here I cut these little pieces here out of a curtain made like little appliques and then underneath is um, more pieces these are um, pieces that I cut out of some um, fat, uh, some trim that I had here's some pretty trim from Hobby Lobby and there's some ruffle trim that's on the first page okay so that's that and then here are some little appliques from that wedding dress that I put there and there <clears throat> and then over here I have some more of that wedding dress trim and then I put these little flower appliques here and um, have these little pearl strands going out of it coming out of it and then over here I have this beautiful dangle trim from a curtain I cut out these beautiful flower appliques and put some buttons here they're like covered buttons from a wedding dress and I already showed you these from the other side that's the dangle trim and then that's that this one here and then that okay <clears throat> so we'll go down here this is a cute little thing I made here. I really like it. I took this beautiful trim and I kind of ruffled it up um, to give it, you know, some substance. And then I just put some pearl strands all around it, you know, coming out. Here's a little handmade um, stick pin. And then I just have appliques sticking out there. And then over here, here's a, um, a rosette flower, and then a little doily underneath. And here's an applique that I put there. Okay. 
and these are removable. I didn't adhere these down, so if the recipient wants to use those for something else, she can. And then over here is another piece of that wedding dress trim. Down here is that beautiful um, trim that I got off of that curtain. And I put these little flower appliques on all of the ends of them. And there's little um, appliques here. And I adhered little um, rhinestones in the center. So pretty. And then you have these dangle trims all along the bottom. And let me go over here to this side. <laughs> I have to work around my tripod. <clears throat> okay, so I have this gorgeous... Um, image here. She's so beautiful. I love her little bonnet. So pretty. And her puff sleeves and how it comes way down. Very beautiful. So <clears throat> this here is material cut from a curtain and it already had these beautiful pleats in it. So I put that around it. And then I added this trim here. Very beautiful cream trim. Here's some applique from um, some curtain material. In this here, I had gotten in a rack. It was like a big, um, I think I got it from Michelle Pipling, but I'm not sure. So thanks, Michelle. And so I put a piece over here, and then I put a piece over there. And then here are some more appliques cut from that um, that curtain. You'll, you'll see those all over here. Um... Here's another stick pin that I that I made. And here's some doily flowers and some beautiful um uh like a capuchon flower and it's got little uh, rhinestones around them. And then <clears throat> excuse me, here's another applique here. Um up here is more trim from a big piece of curtain that I had and as you can see I avocado dyed that here's some trim up here very beautiful and then I have some like going upwards here and then here's another one and then here's more of that pleated trim here I just love that and that's the other side um over here I have some more wedding dress applique and then some trim here, some dangle trim. Here's some beautiful lace um, that I had in my stash. Here's some more dangle trim. And then I have this one here. And then that's the other side. Very beautiful. Okay, so then down here I have more um, glue strings. I have more um, beautiful pearls dangling down. I love how, you know, it all dangles like this. Very pretty. I have some trim here that I avocado dyed. So pretty. And then underneath, that's from a curtain. I actually think that's vintage. I'm not sure. But it's got like little knots in it. Isn't that beautiful? And underneath that, let's see what we have. We have this trim here. And then I think it goes to the other side. <clears throat> so that's that one. <clears throat> I love how that layout came out. There you go. And then here's the center layout. Very pretty. And let me just straighten out the dangles at the bottom. Here is more of that trim that I had on the other side of the spine. It like I like I said, it fit perfectly going down. And then I have this beautiful pearl trim going down the center. And then um I have this piece of lace here, some lace trim. 
and that goes all the way up it and then I added these pretty flower appliques that I kind of um, layered there's like one two three four five layers here I put one here and one there so that kind of dangles down and this idea I got from Margaret thank you Margaret totally scrap lifted that I love how you know you do that so here is this side here and I really like the way this came out because I love these pearls they're actually kind of hard to you know get all straight because I wanted them to you know like dangle like that and then down so I had to you know have them like really <laughs> in alignment so again I have this gorgeous image here she's gorgeous let me just come over to the other side and I have to stop this video hold on okay I'm back for whatever reason my battery was flashing and I thought I had um, you know charged it to the max okay so this one absolutely gorgeous image she's got like this rose bush here very pretty colors in it and around her I have this beautiful ruffle trim and then around that I have this trim here it's really really pretty and so super dainty it's like gorgeous anyway I doubled it and I did a running stitch and made this beautiful ruffle going around it here's some more appliques and this is a pretty trim and this is that um, that ruffle trim from the other side that I put there and here's some um, flowers that I made very very shabby that's just made from curtain material and as you can see like these you know are coming apart because they're just totally shabby I have some cheesecloth here and then some beautiful pearl and rhinestone in the center in the center of both of them and then here's the third one it's basically the same very pretty and then I have appliques coming out here and more back there here's some curtain material that I kind of overlapped when I cut out the appliques and as you can see the pearl trim kind of cascades you know down like that I love that look and then here is some pretty trim I think I got that from the Hobby Lobby I'm not sure I can never remember and then I have this trim here avocado dyed and then this one here very pretty okay and then here is the other side of the pearls very pretty and then down here I added this trim here and on each of these little um, V shapes I have that pearl and rhinestone going down each of them and the one in the middle okay and I have this here it's a um, some dangle trim and here's some pretty appliques and then again I shared on the other side all of the dangle trim okay let me go to the other side again gorgeous gorgeous image and I love her big floppy hat isn't she so pretty I love her absolutely loved working with these images now this one I have this really petite lace going around and then just appliques um, you know coming out of behind it and this was a big piece and it went into a V I have no idea where it went but I really wanted to have it you know cascading around her and then up here is more of that wedding dress applique trim oh my gosh it's so beautiful and so shimmering and shiny and then up here is more trim that I avocado dyed and there's some back there 
and then this one here and then some some of that okay and then down here I have this trim it's dangle and then underneath I have more dangle trim very pretty that was cuff cut off a garment that I purchased um oh and then I have this one again here I just love 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 that one I love this part and I love all of the tassel um the cotton tassel going on that and then over here on this side oh I have this gorgeous bling trim here and then this um stick pin that I created so on this side I have trim going across and it's got um, stuff on both sides and then here I cut this piece out of um, a vintage curtain and I really had to like cut them out and um, really <laughs> I had to um, these little pieces here I had to iron them out so they were straight and then I put pearls in there didn't that come out awesome I love it so then I have this curtain trim here some of this beautiful trim here and that one and see how the avocado dyed took on different colors like this one's much deeper and then this one is lighter I think it's just like this one's cotton this might be synthetic um, and then this tassel trim here okay so that's that one okay and then the next page is this which is oh my gosh it's so gorgeous <clears throat> all kinds of stuff going on here um some dangles okay so i have this beautiful image here look at her hair isn't her hair so beautiful oh my gosh i just love her hair and her dress and she has a beautiful wrap around her hair isn't she just beautiful so here I had on the other um, page some of that um, material or <laughs> yeah it was from a big huge piece of material I think it was a curtain I think like I said I got that from Michelle so I put some here some here and then some here I have these beautiful appliques that I made into a flower and these are all handmade flowers out of curtain material and each one has um, like that one has a capajan with the rhinestone this one has pearls with rhinestones and that's the same so I thought that one came out really beautiful then I have this doily here that goes all the way around and here's some beautiful trim up there some back here and then some of that um, dangle trim there here I have this just kind of test this tassel cascading down here um, here is another um, stick pin that I created and here is some pretty appliques that I made into a flower and there's a little rhinestone center and these rhinestones let me share with you where I got them I had this bracelet that was broken and here's just one piece of the bracelet and what I did was I just popped out those rhinestones I don't know if that's showing or not let me get it at an angle maybe that well anyway that's where I got it <laughs> um okay so on this side I just have this dangle trim here very popular with everybody and this one here 
and that's the other side and then down here at the bottom I made all these cute little flower appliques out of um you know I just cut them from either trims or whatever and then I added the little rhinestones in each of those um, let's see over here is some more curtain material that I went ar along the side here's another flower that I made out of a couple of different appliques in this I kinda um, stuck out like as if it was a leaf and these are all dangle trims down here I have um, some doilies behind those um, flower appliques and let's see kinda hard to tell because these are really attached okay so this page here is the pocket page and um, the buyer wanted some of the laces that were you know kinda left over from what I used and that's what's gonna go in this pocket here isn't that pocket so cute so this is trim I'm, I'm certain from a curtain that I had and just cut it up so it's like this I cut all these out so it's kinda of scalloped there and then this was the bottom of it and then I just added these pieces here and made like little flowers then up here I have this beautiful trim I think I got that from Joann's and behind it I have some um, pretty lace and then here's some of that um, cute little like fan trim it's so cute so let me kind of bring it up so you can see it isn't it so cute and this is really pretty here and this is the beautiful pocket I just love that and the bottom here I put some more of this that's up here along the bottom and then I have this trim here and some more underneath that and there and this goes all the way across to the other side I start out with sewing those on and then over here I made some big fluffy shabby flowers from that same curtain material that I used on the other flowers and I have pearl and rhinestone centers in both of them little different from each other I have some pearls and some dangles cascading down from each of those and then on the side I just have more tassel trim I love I like these trims that kind of go to a point you know on the sides here very pretty and that was cut from a a curtain and then I have this one here and then it goes to the back sorry about that so I do love how this turned out and as, as if you can see this is where the album starts from the bottom and this is where it ends at the top so all of this is all <laughs> trailing down um, trim and then again it ends like here and then the rest is all trim so it starts out like a normal size and then it gets crazy big and then here is just the back beautiful beautiful curtain here isn't that gorgeous I just love it and see these these pieces here I had cut those out and made those leaves and that's what those are from made flowers and stuff so this is the curtain that I use throughout the entire um, fabric journal and then over here I just have all of these dangle trims here very beautiful have these little little beauties there and then underneath there's more and under that there's this one I love this one it's like curlyish and that's how it came <laughs> 
so cute. And then there's the top of it. Very thick, very chunky, very heavy. So I do hope the buyer loves this. Um, she chose not to see it. Um, and I will not post this video until after she receives it because she totally wants it to be a surprise and I don't want her, um, um, you know, catching a glimpse of it. I wanted her to be totally surprised when she opens it up and I just, I hope she loves it, um, as much as I loved creating it for her. So I hope you guys love it as well and, um... Thanks, everybody, for watching, and have a beautiful day, and be safe. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.